Welcome back to another episode of Shenanigai Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Did you guys like the maniacal laughter I left you off with last time on that epic cliffhanger? Well, I won't be too rude to you today. We'll go ahead and go forth without further ado. It's... is this one of the passages beneath the city? Looks like it, and judging by the direction it leads, I don't think it's an area we've been to before. I don't sense any traps. Exclamations! Hello, Green Schwarz are speaking. It's me, Sarah. The governor told me about what happened. Give me a full update on the situation. Our targets are Gideon and two other armed terrorists. They've abducted Princess Alphen and Elise, and we're pursuing them through an underground tunnel as we speak. We're doing all we can to catch up with them. Understood. I'm making my way there as fast as I can, and I've got the RMP in tow. Keep up your pursuit. Try to stall them until we can get there if you can. But don't do anything that would put the hostages in danger. Their safety is our top priority. Got it. Alright, let's hurry. Right. We won't let them get away. We'll be arriving in 10 minutes. Until then, all we can do is hope that they can pursue the terrorists on their own. I hate to admit it, but I doubt there's anything else we can do right now. I'm glad to see the RMP living up to their sterling reputation, though. It sounds like you guys handled the attacks at the racetrack in the cathedral like seasoned pros. Well, none of the Imperial Guardsmen were stationed in those areas, and we did receive invaluable assistance from Group B. You could just accept a compliment when it's given, you know. So, how much of an idea did you have that the terrorist's real target was going to be the garden party? I'll bet you, I'll bet you had more than just a hunch with that horrible calculator you've got for a brain, right, Miss Icy Maiden? I estimated the chances at roughly 40%. Targeting the garden party would make the biggest spectacle, after all. I believe their aim is to harm the reformist public image, which means Her Highness should be safe. Unfortunately, I can't be so certain about that girl with her. <laughs> yeah, and that's why we'll probably never see eye to eye. Alright, let's see if we can manage to rescue these two. Ugh, those damn terrorists! Elise, Princess Alphen, please be safe! A monster! The advantage is ours! Yes, the advantage is ours. Huh. Diving Anat Ananta? A serpent monster containing deadly poison plunges its fangs into its prey from the air using its bat-like wings. My turn! Ta nice critical. <laughs> Let's go! Ooh, another critical. Gotcha! Right! <laughs> go! I'll pick you up! Here we go! Ooh, and another critical. Ta nice! That's the power of the eight leaves. So... The way we have Rain's Orbment set up, his first actual attack does double damage, and a critical does double damage. And if you have 200 craft points, you'd, your uh, S-craft does double damage. So we could literally be doing like four times damage if we get a critical on um, our first attack with Rain. And we use our S-Craft. Exclamation! Where are we? Catacombs! It's really creepy. I had no idea a place like this existed beneath the capital. It appears to be a catacomb built during the Dark Ages. Mm 
Well, they definitely came this way, and I don't think it was that long ago. Oh, right, you can tell from their footprints. Okay, then we just need to keep heading this way. Follow me. Right, ready to go. Onward. <laughs> Everything's proceeding just as I'd planned. If we can make it out of these tunnels, we will have achieved all we set out to accomplish here. All right. Not bad for our first mission. What are you people planning? Just what do you hope to accomplish by abducting us? It doesn't appear that you're interested in trying to ransom me back to my father for money. I ask that you refrain. I ask that you remain patient for just a short while longer, your highness. We are but humble patriots who respect and honor the traditions and values of our country. We would never do anything to bring harm to one of the bloodlines that symbolizes that very nation. You sound just like... <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. We feel no sense of brotherhood with the aristocracy. The vast majority among us are of common birth, myself included. However, there is a certain man among you whom I'm afraid we simply cannot allow to remain alive. Who do you mean? If that's what you want, then let her highness go. If you need a hostage you can injure, I should be enough. Exclamation. Elise. Oh, what is your name, little one? Serving as her highness's attendant, I assume you must be of high social standing, no? Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Theo Schwarzer, lord of the northern region of Ymir. I may not be of particularly high rank, but I am still of noble birth. If you need a hostage, use me instead. Elise. Haha, <laughs> well aren't you a fascinating young lady? We seem to have picked up quite the unexpected gambit. Now, how should we use it? Nah, uh, there are chests. I wasn't sure if there were going to be chests. Doesn't look like there's any over there. This bridge is so cool. Exclamation! Ooh! Enemy sighted! Take him out! Yeah. My turn! I should have healed. Whoops. It's alright. They're both the same? Yeah. Ha! Cursed Sculpture. Cursed Sculpture, a devil said to have existed since the Dark Ages. With its spread wings, it is a symbol of fear. My turn. I have no idea how tough these things are going to be, and they have a critical. No. No, they're not that bad. It's my turn. Mm. Oh, no. Stand oh, down. Not good. My turn. Um. Arcus, activate. Won't give up. Sit. Hmm. My turn. That little animation of defeating these monsters will make sense at a later time. Huh? Thanks. Right. Eat that. Go. Sit. Right. Laura should be able to huh? finish him off. Yeah. Evil will fall before my blade. Oh, that was scary. There seemed to be some strange force at work making things difficult for us during our, the fight. The way they appeared was weird too. It's like they were waiting to ambush us. Perhaps it was due to that man Gideon's power. Or rather, that flute he holds. Yeah, that flute seems to give off some potent vibes. 
I've heard that some powerful relics from antiquity are still around. Wonder if that's one of those artifacts. Ah! Well, we're going to have to deal with it one way or another. So... I'll explain that a little bit. Um, artifacts. There are relics from the ancient Zumerian culture uh, from like thousands of years ago um, that were basically this world's ancient technology. Like they were, um, I think, uh, let's see, how do they, um, I think they described them as gifts granted too early by the goddess Idios. Um, they're thought to possibly be what brought the destruction of the ancient Zumerian culture. And they're basically the same thing as orbital technology, just older and in many cases much more advanced than what we have now. So. A little bit of interesting information there. Ooh, we're catching up. Dots! There they are. I'll go on ahead. I'm going with her. I'll fire off some warning shots. I'm with you, Reen. All right, I'm counting on it's you. It's far enough! What? <laughs> Eat that! <laughs> Shit! What? Reen! You came for us! Show's over. Let her highness and Elise go. Now. Considering all that you've done, I can't say I'd be entirely comfortable letting you go free. But if you release them, we might be willing to consider it. Damn kids. <sighs> it's five against three. You've got no chance. And fleeing while trying to carry two hostages? I don't think that'll work out too well for you. So, would you please just let them go? <laughs> Impressive. Very impressive. I had no idea Thors was educating such gifted students. Save it. Look, we can keep this stalemate going all day, or you can release them. It's up to you. But I'm warning you, if there's so much as a scratch on either of them, you'll wish the police found you before I did. Ooh, somebody's mad. Uh, you. Rain. Very well. We surrender. I'm not so proud that I can't see when we have no chance of victory. Then... So you'll let them go? Absolutely. If you can defeat him, that is. Do it. Him? <sighs> hmm. Exclamation! Son of a... A volatile anesthetic? Fear not. I simply thought it best they sleep for a short while. After all, this is hardly a sight fit for the eyes of such innocent maidens. We really need to destroy that thing. Damn it! Another monster?! What the? again. A howl? This roar. Ooh. That miasma, though. Dark Dragon of Ruination, Zoro Argruga. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a. A bone dragon? <laughs> Behold! The might of the demonic flute! 
An artifact capable of holding even the shadow that reigned over Heimdall during the Dark Ages in its thrall. Now, I'll have you delay your journey to perdition no longer. Farewell, dear ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. There's no way we can take on that thing. What are we going to do? Uh, I can't estimate its strength. Or even the best way to fight it. Oh. We're not just going to roll over and die here. If you think back on how much we've grown just during this field study, there's no way this thing is going to take us down. Dots. My blade is ready. Huh. Too impetuous to know when you're beaten, are you? Go, Dark Tyrant! Bring down the merciless hammer of judgment upon these hapless fools! This looks tough. Careful! Yeah, this is gonna be a rough battle. My turn! Ha! Zoro Agruga. A dragon-like fiend from the Dark Ages made of bone. Sprays dark breath and has the power to shake space itself. My turn! How quickly do you think we can take it down on Azure Nightmare? Blade. Gather on my blade! Strike! Ooh, this might not actually be too bad. My turn! It's my turn! How about this? Mm. My turn! Mm, do we have something that impedes? Shatter! Can try this, I don't think it'll impede though. Off guard! Got it. <laughs> Does he have anything that impedes? I don't think this is going to work, but we can try it. Nocturne Bell! Nope, it resisted it. Ugh, grim Butterfly. This is going to hurt. Ah! <coughs> uh, ooh, Here we knocked go. out two of the party. That's not good. It's my turn! Uh... How about this? Maybe Marcus can finish it off. Ready. You're finished! Oh no! Ah, my turn. Do that again. Ha! My turn. Ha! Ooh, it's gonna do Grim Butterfly again. Ah! Stand Ooh. down. Ah, nice, nice comeback, Laura. Evil will fall before my blade. Yeah. Good job, guys. I impossible. Laura! V! Roger! <sighs> huh? What? Uh, what? You damned? What? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Nice. No. The demonic flute. <sighs> That's check and mate. Whew, that was a tough one. 
What's our plan, Comrade G? <sighs> oh. You vile... Comrade G? I am fully prepared to lay down my life for our cause. It is not death, I fear. But this operation is too important to leave even a corpse behind. I'm afraid I must do what needs to be done. Even if that means harming a member of the Imperial family. <laughs> I think it's about time we came out to play. Oh. Exclamations all around. Oh. What the? Who are? Oh my. Aren't you a quick little kitty? <laughs> Just my type. <laughs> That's the Sylphid I know. Comrade S? Comrade V? Ah, oh, you came for us. Oh, what a relief. Now we can... These must be... More terrorists! <laughs> I seem to recall specifically telling you to leave this operation to me. But I can't say I'm unhappy you decided to check in. Sorry, boss. But if you got yourself caught here, we would have been off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> I do apologize for cutting in, but we figured it was for the best. Comrade C decided to join us, too. And so I have. Uh, a mask! <laughs> Comrade C, I... wasn't expecting to see you here. Did my planning for this operation seem that flawed to you? On the contrary. It was almost perfect, but no plan is completely foolproof. One must always factor in unpredictable elements. As the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7 here have demonstrated so brilliantly. <sighs> How does he know who we are? Who are you? We have already fulfilled our primary objective. Courting dishonor by harming a member of the Imperial family would gain us nothing now. Do you not agree? No, you're right. Release them. Understood. Right. I don't know why that wasn't voiced. <sighs> Elliot, Machius, I'm leaving the two of them to you. Okay. Got it. There, a gesture of goodwill, in the hopes that we may yet resolve this without bloodshed. What say you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7? Will you stand aside and let us leave peacefully? Like hell we will. You abducted the Imperial Princess and an innocent girl. Drugged them. What Erebonian would stand idly by in the face of such an outrage? It's five against six. This won't be easy. Uh, guys... <laughs> you got guts, kids. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind a little roughhousing. No. It's only right that I be the one to test their mettle. Wielders of the Longsword, the Great Sword, the Twin Gun Swords, stand and face me. I shall be your opponent. <gasps> what? <laughs> Think of this as an entertaining way to kill some time. The railway military police are already on their way. Until then, pour out the vessel of your wrath upon me. <sighs> Interesting. He's awful sure of himself. Is he serious? There's no way he can win against all three of them. Exclamations. Whoa, what kind of weapon is that? Another relic from the Dark Ages. A double saber. C.
I am C. That is all you need to know. Now, come at me if you think you're able. <laughs> then allow us to begin. My turn. This, this is probably going to be rough. This was a very difficult battle. And seems how we are on um, Ultra Nightmare. Ha! Even though we're higher level, this is going to be pretty rough. C, a mysterious masked man who leads the terrorists, wields a double satyr with immense skill used using varied attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. Here I go, go. Still feed dead. That's that. <laughs> oh, did almost Behold no damage. The might of the Arcade School. Radiant Blade Death! Oh! My turn! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. We're probably going to be spending this entire time just trying to stay alive at this rate. Huh. Thanks. You're welcome. Please don't die on me. Okay. Um. Do we have anything that gives CP? 10 CP. Twenty CP. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Good. Oh no, you don't. Take this. Oh, right. Um, that's really not good. Thanks. We're hurting, guys. My turn. We are hurting. Yeah. You have my thanks. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, we could have taken it. <laughs> That's our C for you. Who? Can't deny he's got the brains and the brawn to lead. <sighs> what power? He might even be as strong as Sarah. Just. Who are you people? <laughs> From today, you shall know us as the Imperial Liberation Front. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That is our cause, our purpose. The Imperial Liberation Front? W what dictator? Freeze, all of you! Exclamations all around. Instructor! Captain Claire! Just in time. <laughs> it appears the time has come to make our exit. Huh? Is that... Farewell. I'm sure we'll meet again. What? A, a bomb? <laughs> See you around. Ta-ta for now, my little darlings. <laughs> Let's see you claw your way out of this grave. The passage is collapsing! Hurry! R right! Ugh, I couldn't leave Juan up alone. Green, you carry her highness. 
Got it! That was pretty touch and go back there, but I'm glad to see you all pulled through. Well, thanks to you, Instructor. I had my doubts we were going to make it out of that alive. You could have come a bit sooner. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, there's no way we'll be able to follow them now. Indeed. So, the Imperial Liberation Front, is it? Your Highness! Elise! Oh, thank goodness. Whatever drug they were given doesn't seem to have had any lasting effects. I feel like I've caused you all a lot of trouble, but thank you for rescuing me. I'm just glad that you're safe and unharmed. <sighs> what happened? Are you alright, Your Highness? How are you feeling? Exclamation! Irene? Uh, I'm fine. You should worry more about your sister. Looks like the Intelligence Division was right on the mark. We have a number of the routes back to the surface locked down. Think we could smoke them out? Personally, I doubt it. This tunnel system is incredibly expansive, with too many areas we know nothing about. Continue the search for a while longer, then focus on restoring order in the city. Yes, ma'am. I'll send a report to the other divisions and let them know the situation's been resolved. So, Imperial Liberation Front, What's your game? Title screen. July 29th, Thursday, Septian Calendar, 12.04. In the end, the Railway Military Police brought the chaos under control, and the first day of the festival came to a close. Do I have to click? Despite to... his injuries, Governor Regnitz kept on top of things, ensuring that the rest of the festival passed by peacefully. The next morning, it was time for us to leave the capital behind and make our way back to Trista. Oh, I forgot about this scene. Valflame Palace, second reception hall. I really don't know how to begin thanking you. You've done so much for our family that I doubt we'll ever be able to repay you. Not at all, Your Highness. There's nothing to repay us for. We just did what we had to. Oh, come now, there's no need to be so modest. It scares me to think what might have happened if Elise and I had been taken away by those people. So I can't thank you all enough. Please allow me to extend my thanks for your help as well. I'm truly grateful. Elise. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe. Group B's efforts were a great help to Cedric and I as well. Thank you again for your assistance in restoring order to the city. I'm honored, Your Highness. <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of service. <laughs> just think of it as returning the favor for your help pushing to make Class 7 a reality. Still... Now we've got the Imperial Liberation Front to worry about. Regrettably. There have been signs they were up to no good behind the scenes before now. That incident in Nord, for example. But now they've finally stepped out of the shadows and announced themselves to the world. They appear to be insurgents in the truest sense of the word, led by several key figures. C being the most prominent. The Intelligence Division is doing its utmost to gather information about these leaders even as we speak. They struck me as rather... mysterious in some ways. Even though they abducted us, they rarely showed the kind of maliciousness one would expect from terrorists. It seemed more like they were in the grip of some kind of intense passion. True. Not that it excuses abducting your highness like they did. An intense passion, you say? It did seem that way. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. 
in our hands the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That's what their leader said when they made their appearance. Indeed. <laughs> All the ham-handed theatrics of a middle school play. Yeah. You can tell how gleeful he must have been to say the flames of silent anger in front of an audience. <laughs> well, it's no mystery what they're referring to, at least. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss you. Exclamations. Wait, isn't that... Is he? Dad's with him, too. Glad you made it, Cedric! Huh. <laughs> just in time, too. Your Highness? Did you come all this way just to bid us farewell? Of course. After all you've done for us, I thought it was the least I could do. Ah, is this the rest of Class 7? Crown Prince Cedric. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Cedric Ricey Arner. I wanted to thank you for coming to my sister's aid in her time of need. Allow me to extend to you my most heartfelt appreciation. You're too generous, Your Highness. Th the honor was ours. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the Crown Prince. Fee? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind if he took a few lessons in manliness from the gentlemen of Class 7, though. Uh, Alfin, come on. I think that's a little harsh, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you're still just 15. You have plenty of growing ahead of you. Still. It isn't often I see you keeping the Imperial Governor company. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I just happened to be here on business, so I thought I'd take the chance to say goodbye to everyone. How are you feeling? Are your injuries all right now? Yes, nothing too serious, fortunately. I'm still feeling it, but it shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to my old self. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see you looking all hale and hearty, Your Excellency. Thank you. While no one could have foreseen how it ended, you did manage to complete this month's field study. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to congratulate you for your exemplary work. We're honored you'd say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. We three directors may have very different positions on many issues, including how Class 7 should be run. But for my part, I'd like you to enjoy student life however you choose. I think the other directors would agree with me on at least that much. Dad. Dads. I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Your Excellency. In that regard, you have nothing to worry about, Your Highness. <laughs> well, if you say so. I've always found you a trustworthy man, of course. But... Ah, I see that everyone's here. Exclamations. Only two of them. Oh, it, it couldn't be. <gasps> Chancellor Osborne! As a matter of fact, the Chancellor and I just came from an audience with His Majesty the Emperor. I'm overjoyed to see you safe and well, Princess Alpha. Clearly, the Goddess has bestowed her blessings upon us. Thank you, Chancellor. I'd also like to reassure Prince Oliver that we're starting a nationwide hunt for members of the Imperial Liberation Front. An investigation into the backgrounds of its members is also underway, so you needn't worry. Ooh, that stare he's giving him, though. My, my. Nothing gets past you, does it? Well, I suppose that means you have the security detail for next month's trade conference well in hand? Of course. I'll see to it that everything is taken care of. Ah, but where are my manners? Please excuse me for not introducing myself. Chancellor Gileath Osborne. I'm Gileath Osborne, representative of the Erebonian government. Though I imagine those of you who read the papers may know me better as the Blood and Iron Chancellor. <gasps> uh, it's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. Um, your reputation precedes you, Your Excellency. Ooh, Sarah's staring daggers, too. Ha! <laughs> I've heard much about the recent exploits of Thor's Class 7. Traveling across the Empire for first-hand learning with your field studies 
It's quite the fascinating program. I hope you'll keep up the good work. We shall endeavor to. Thanks. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. Ah, yes. It's been quite some time, young Bracer. I'm glad to see your new career path is working out for you. Gotta admit, I love this guy's voice, though. Like, I just... Nobody could do as good of a job at voicing this guy as this person does. Thank you, Chancellor. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for you. I really owe you for all you've done for me. Hmm. Sarcastic sounding. <laughs> General Van Dyke was my superior back when I was in the army. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. What are you... <clears throat> I have great expectations for you all. Nurture the bonds you share, and train up bodies and wills of steel. For I have no doubt you'll need them in the turbulent times to come. Oh. So, a lot that happens in that episode, huh? And this is Chapter 4, A Midsummer's Revels End. So, we are now over the crisp, crisp, crest, crest? I don't know, of the halfway mark, however that saying goes. Um, we are going to go ahead and end the video right here. And when we pick up next time, we will move into Chapter 5. So, until next time, goodbye for now.